breast cancer in this video we'll be talking about um breast cancer symptoms of breast cancer um how to prevent breast cancer and what makes you exposed to breast cancer okay these are the seven warning signs that you you're having breast cancer and you need to rush and get to the hospital number one dimpling of your nipples when your nipple becomes like this in the picture then this is not good it means something is wrong with your breast and you need to go and see a doctor number two having dimples in your breast any part of your breast for instance let me show you this thing right here is what dimples is okay having it at every part any part of your breast I will see if I will get a picture. Number three, having an orange skin. I'll put a picture there. When you see this thing in any part of your breast, it's a sign of breast cancer. Number four, having um discharge in your breast apart from normal milk if you're breastfeeding, okay? And then the discharge is maybe greenish, blood, smelly please rush and see a doctor then having swelling in any part of your breast swelling okay I'm, I'm not talking about lumps now swelling i already explained this in the video i made on how to do breast self-examination step-by-step ways to do breast self-examination i did it myself so you can go and watch it so having any swelling in any part of your breast is a sign may be a sign of breast cancer now having lumps in any part especially this side having lumps or any kind of you know lumps now you will notice this more during breast self-examination which i thought and there's a particular time you should check your breast if you're doing breast self-examination it's not every time of the month however you can do but to get the accurate um, breast self-examination there's a particular time you should do it right number six discoloration of your breast seeing redness in your breast or anything redness um, yellowish green whatever color you're seeing on your breast please this may be a sign of breast cancer another one is new veins coming out you're seeing new green veins i'll see if i can get a picture coming out please this may be a sign of breast cancer you need to see a doctor another one again is dimpling if your nipples a dimple or you have cracks in your nipples okay please you need to see a doctor okay so this is why you should learn how to do breast self-examination every month especially if you have approached menopause you must do breast self-examination for people that have approached menopause maybe twice in a month okay and also get vaccinated so now having talked about symptoms of breast cancer and now let's talk about what makes you exposed to breast cancer why you how you may be exposed to breast cancer that is the risk factors of breast cancer number one the more being a woman first of all being a woman a male have breast cancer too i hope you know but being a woman increases your chances of having breast cancer right number two as you increase as you age okay it also increases your chances of having breast cancer as you age enter menopause okay now not breastfeeding not breastfeeding especially people that have given birth knowingly not breastfeeding increases your chances of having breast cancer drinking alcohol women who take so much alcohol this actually increases your chances of having breast cancer then obesity increases your chances of having breast cancer post menopausal therapy this means um some women because of the menopause they have low libido in having sex vaginal dryness so they go for some therapies like hormones that you know like artificial replacing of those hormones that have died off okay this increases your chances of having breast cancer but i forgot to explain the gene that causes breast cancer is breast cancer one and breast cancer two okay which most importantly is found in families it has to do with families number one risk factor please 
family if your family is genetic if your family had breast cancer anybody in your family the chances increases too okay of you having breast cancer now um radiation exposure increases your chances of having breast cancer if you're exposed and you didn't cover yourself okay now a personal history of breast cancer you've had breast cancer before this increases your chances of having breast cancer a personal breast cancer condition you might have had a lump or that is not cancerous okay so now let's get to how to prevent breast cancer having known the symptoms the risk factors things that increases your risk now let's talk about how to prevent breast cancer number one try to limit the way you take alcohol okay alcohol increases your chances of breast cancer okay then um for menopausal women please be mindful of the kind of hormonal therapy you take okay especially estrogen therapy be mindful um another one is this try to work on your weight try to um work on your weight eat healthy reduce sugar reduce processed food i'm talking to myself obviously um you know this will really help you in managing breast cancer right then work out do exercise this will really help you try to be active people that stay indoors sedentary lifestyle always eating you no know, be mindful of your food that you eat always eating high fatty foods not good high cholesterol food not good especially as a woman your hormones are always disrupted okay now try to breastfeed i don't know why women don't breastfeed these days but breastfeeding actually reduces your chances of breast cancer breastfeeding when you have a child okay that's what i'm talking about okay all right so let me know if you have questions like this video share then um breast self breast self examination i have a video on it already so you can just go and watch it is the next video i posted it before this video subscribe please